Mask madness in Brookline. A man is facing assault charges for throwing coffee at another Dunkin' customer who refused to put on a face covering. That's just one of many incidents in Massachusetts illustrating how friction over masks can boil over. Brookline does have a mask mandate, but as Christina Rex shows us, based on a debate in another town, Amesbury won't. Two years into the pandemic and people are still debating wearing these as patients wear thin over mandates. I don't, I don't think a mask mandate will solve any issues. The city of Amesbury decided to pass on a mask mandate, voting four to one against the proposal, saying it would be too little too late. I think a mask mandate is a good idea just because I think that people looking out for other people is never a bad thing. Some were happy to take up a mandate as Omicron cases wane, but for others, this is getting ridiculous. Mandating masks two years into a pandemic is a non-starter. Well, first of all, a mandate is not a law. So if they mandate it, it doesn't mean I have to obey. Across the state, tensions are mounting and businesses have had no choice but to become mask police to make sure their customers comply with various mandates. This man is accused of throwing a hot coffee at someone in Brookline who was not wearing a mask. Did you say you threw a coffee at the person? Roger, hot coffee he threw at him. At North Station, an officer was allegedly hit after trying to get this man to put on a mask. And in Boston's North End, a Regina Pizzeria employee punched in the face after asking a customer to mask up. I think there are a lot of people who are really sick of wearing masks in general. Back in Amesbury, some will still keep their masks on for now and hope others will do the same, despite no hard rule. As soon as Omicron goes down, go back to whatever we were doing before, but let's wait until we're down, the numbers are down. And the city of Amesbury did re-up its mask advisory, just recommending that people wear masks indoors in all public buildings. In Amesbury, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.